in New York. That's Paul Pierce. Jalen Rose, building. John C. Billups, my name's Michelle Beadle. We got a big, big night in the NBA. Cavs will attempt to tie the Eastern Finals at a game apiece in Boston. And one franchise will get a ping pong ball that could change the course of their organization in the NBA Draft Lottery. We'll get you set for both happening right here on ESPN. But first, we're going to start out west, where Houston lost their coveted home court advantage to the Warriors, dropping game one. And despite a 64-point performance by the Rockets' all-star backcourt, the question remains, can their style of offense beat Golden State? It's like, you know, oh my gosh, they're ISO, that's all we do. No, it didn't. And that's what we do best. We scored like 60% of the time on it. It's like, no, really? You know, uh, like uh, all of a sudden, oh, they don't pass everybody's stands. Really? You watch this for 82 games, that's what we do. We are who we are, and we're pretty good at it, and we can't get off who we are. We are who we are. We got here 65 wins, so at the end of the day, I think we're going to be who we are. That, that's my answer to that. I'm seeing some heads moving uh, up here. <laughs> are you concerned with not just their style, but the fact that they seem very adamant in sticking with that? Well, I mean, that's the way they played all year long. I mean, they were the best ISO team in all of basketball. But I just thought, you know, they have to do a better job at mixing it up, uh, you know, where they run some motion plays, ISO, uh, just to get the other guys involved. It just seems like sometimes when they get stagnant and they shoot these one-on-one -on -one tough shots, it's demoralizing to the rest of your, your teammates, especially if you're down in the game. And so, uh, you know, and it, can, and it can affect you on the defensive end. Right. But like they said, you are who you are. You know, that's how you won. The, the thing is they can't turn the ball over like they did. They got to play better defense. And I don't know if that means double teaming Kevin Durant or, or, you know, doing something about the pick and roll with Steph Curry and Clay. But their style is their style. And they have to play like that if they plan on trying to win this uh, series. They can't change up yeah. right now. It's too late for that. Yeah, they're very adamant about they can't change anything. I mean, they've switched on defense all year long. The biggest difference to me is when you switch against the Warriors, they continue to run their offense. They keep moving. They keep cutting. They keep backdooring. When you switch against the Rockets, it's an isolation play. Hmm. And yes, James Harden is unguardable. But 41 couldn't do it yesterday, and 23 and 11 from Chris Paul. So the best two players played very well, and you got beat by double digits at home. So yes, they are who they are, but is who you are, is, is, is that person good enough? Right. And in this series against this team, it's not. In boxing, they say styles make fights, and I agree with this is who Houston is. We all watched them play. We all watched them get 65 wins. However, they took it to the extreme in game one. 45 isolations. That's the most by any team in any game the last five years, mm -hmm. including them clearly. So when you isolate against the Golden State Warriors, you want your two best players to score and be efficient, but also, to, you, to your point, make the guys around you better. Trevor Ariza, Tucker, Bamute, they got to make those guys feel confident in their games and lead the team. Yeah. And I think because they're playing against the Warriors and shooting so late in the clock, those are going to be low percentage plays. It's a tough watch, too. It's a tough watch. I mean, you watch the Warriors <laughs> down there. This is beautiful playing basketball. They're moving, sharing the basketball. And then you look on the other end, and it's just, okay, get the switch, get Steph in it, or get whoever in it, and everybody just kind of hit the pause button and just sit there and watch. I mean, as great as, as great as James was yesterday, I like to see them get the ball to Chris Paul and put him in pick <clears throat> and roll situations. That's where he's great, to where he's finding guys. He only had three assists yesterday. You know, that's not Chris. He likes to get into the lane, find guys, make them better. And I think they need to do that a little bit more than just ice on when they have the switch at the top of the key. Indulge me with some overreaction here, but is the series over based on what you saw yesterday? Well, none of us picked Houston to win. Right, but maybe not quickly. But now that you lost game one, I don't think it has a chance to be a long series you unless you win game the two. the Warriors four out of six now. So you just lowered your chance. And so this could be a gentleman's sweep. I don't disagree with you, Paul. It, it, could, it very well could be because, you know, here's the, here's the scary thing about it. The Warriors didn't even play that well. They really didn't play that well yesterday, but they still got it done. And I tell you what, Draymond's push and no other Rockets coming to James' defense.